Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to create um let's say ombre nails with marble. I mean we are going to marble and do an ombre at the same time. You'll see so you understand what I mean. I'm going to start with the pinky and I'm going to use this um uh, powder this is like a soft uh, uh, yellow powder I'm going to do an ombre with this and I'm going to use this cover powder with shimmer on it this is from Glitterbells and as always I'm going to list all the products in the description box so you can go and check it out so I want to tell you that I am part of the Moonflower Nails Content Crew, yes, and this is from a brand uh, created by Selena Ryden. I suppose that you all know Selena, she is amazing, and to be part of her team is it's like a dream. I'm so so happy and so excited to share my uh, designs with all the girls in the content crew I'm going to leave you the link to her page uh, you can follow them on Instagram uh, Moonflower Nails you can follow them on Facebook we have Monday Live so every Monday one of the girls is showing some designs or some techniques and every Thursday we have Takeover Thursdays so you get to tag along with one of us and see what we do in a regular day at the salon or in our lives depending on what we are doing that day so don't miss that okay in this nail we are going to create an kind of an ombre uh, sorry a marble nail I don't going for a regular marble I am thinking more like blending the colors together I don't know if that makes sense but yeah you'll see so I use this green kind of green turquoise color with the soft lemon color and I use some clear acrylic and I just marble I use the tip of my brush and I just do this kind of movements to create some swirls uh, yes and after that I'm going to play some glitter because I want some sparkle in these nails because we love sparkles I did think this design is going to be awesome for Easter's everybody's looking for those um, pastel colors and we are actually done with all dark shades and, or, and colors so this is going to be a popular design I see my clients coming back and all they want is pastel pastel everywhere so I don't know for how long I'm going to be this happy about using pastel colors because you know when you're using the same colors every day you get like tired of it like Easter is like next week and I'm already feeling that okay I'm done with all the eggs and the bunnies and stuff like that <laughs> and I know that this happened to all of us that have the who have to create content um, that uh, we have the same thing going on you know like around Christmas Easter and yeah you know what I mean okay on this nail we are going to do exactly the same thing as we did on the previous nail so I use this soft lemon color I use this as a base and that's a good tip that you can choose the lightest color because it's going to blend easier uh, when doing ombre so I place that bead and then I'm going it with my other colors try to use wet beads when you're going to marble because it gets easier and the product does, is not going to get stuck on your brush
Okay, I want this nail to be completely yellow and to have some glitter on top but not covering the whole nail just a half um, so I am putting a tiny bead around the cuticle area and then I'm going in with more beads to cover the whole nail I am using new brush uh, this is uh, glitter bells number 12 uh, I am used to have the fantasy nails Europe brush in size 10 so I am using this new brush now because it gets like easier to pick uh, larger beads but this brush has another shape than than the brush that I'm used to you so yeah I I'm trying to get used to this brush but I like it actually I rec I really recommend this brush it's very good and it's easy to work with I want to remind you that as you can see this is a practice hand uh, this is the ready one I hand uh, the color Lisa I think or Lucy I don't really, really remember I'm going to check that out and I'm going to leave you that information in the description box so I didn't prepare the nails but if you're going to apply like me on this nail uh, powder with pigment like not a cover powder you have to apply some crystal uh, acrylic like clear acrylic uh, at the bottom so you don't um, get pigment on the natural nail so that's important to name I always write it uh, in the description box but in case that you are missing that to read that uh, I want you to know this uh, yes and now I am going to create a regular ombre as I did on the pinky 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 sounds fun pinky like pinky and brain you have you seen pinky and brain it actually was one of my favorites like brain trying to <laughs> take over the world in pinky <laughs> pinky pink pinky oh my god oh i love that show <laughs> okay back to our design i like when i remember this kind of uh, cartoons <laughs> very fun okay so we're going to encapsulate the nails and then I'm going to file them off camera and I will show you the last part of our design because we are going to use some gel paints and some sugar effects so stay tuned here I'm applying matte top coat because I want this nail to be completely matte and here we are going to apply some regular uh, top coat because we want this nail to shine after that we are going to apply some gel paint I'm just going to take my liner brush and do like random lines here and there uh, you can use uh, gel polish if you don't have uh, gel paint or if you want like a certain shade that you that you don't have in gel paint you can take some white gel paint and mix with a little gel polish it's going to get a thicker consistency and it going, it's going to work better than if you are just using gel polish so without curing this I'm going to apply this glitter I think this is mermaid glitter uh, you know we get them in those puff bottles that you can puff 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 <laughs> puff 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 oh my god so uh, and then we're going to cure that in the lamp we're going to do the same thing here and we are also going to cure that in the lamp Remember that if you're going to use a sugar in effect, 
you have to seal the nail before you apply this otherwise you cannot put top coat uh, on top of the sugar fade because what's the point you're going to miss the whole thing so i actually did this mistake so many times so just a reminder that you have to apply top coat before okay so now in with the glitter and into the lamp and here you have the nails so you can take a brush and just and take away all the excess so this is how the nails look like yay okay now we are going to apply some crystals so i'm going to use some gel i apply the gel where i want to place my crystals and then i'm going to use my crystal tool picker wax pen these crystals are from Moonflower Nails and the color is green opal and white opal from the Opals collections, of course. And after that, we're going to apply some caviar beads in gold to complete the whole design. Now we are going to apply some top coat. This is my favorite part. I go on and apply top coat around the crystals, never on top of them. Okay? And look at this nail. So cute and sparkly. And here you have the final result. I hope that you like this design and that you want to recreate it. Please don't forget to subscribe, to give me a thumbs up and to follow me on social medias. I see you on the next one. Bye bye.